first thing that you want to do is we're going to open GIMP which is a free image editor um, then we're going to create a new 1920 by 1080 um, image so I'm going to do that now we're going to make this background we're going to fill with transparency like so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to fill the whole scene with red like so then we're going to set uh, a square box so in this instance I'm creating a fixed size 800 by 800 and I'm going to position that like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out so that we can see a transparent box over there the next thing we're going to do we're going to create another one and we're going to make that pretty much the same distance uh, which is height wise 1060 like that and then again we're going to cut that out like so then we're going to create another box only this time that's not going to be fixed size that is going to be a size under here we're going to create it like this and we're going to say okay we want to make that I don't know uh, we're going to make that white I'm going to fill that like so uh, we're going to fill that in red again so we're going to draw another box in here this one is going to be slightly angled like that I'm going to take that slightly in and then we're going to fill that in red and then we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it we're going to drag that over to this side so this side is the same like so and then we're going to anchor our layers then we're going to create some white text over the top of it like this so this is going to be uh, here we go Joe blogs CEO and then we're going to do something similar on this side like that we're going to put uh, Fred Smithers CFO ok there we go so now what we've got is we've got our two placeholders for camera views which are transparent backgrounds and then we've got our border and frame with the names so let's go ahead and merge all this down like so so that's it and then what we want to do is we want to export that so we're going to export that and we're going to save that it's got to be a PNG so you, set your, you can save your transparent current colors and I'm going to put that into pictures so we're going to call this one um, OBS framed background and we're going to save that and that's going to export so we don't want to save the comment but we want to save the resolution and the color values from transparent pixels I'm going to export that so that's all there is to that piece next what we want to do is we want to log into um, OBS and add our camera views and also we want to add this background okay so the next thing we want to do is to open up OBS studio which we're going to do this is a clean install so we've got uh, our first scene displayed here 
what we want to do is we want to create um, an input. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a background image and we want to select the image that we created earlier. So we're going to go and find that. So OBS frame background image like such. The next thing that we want to do is we want to create our camera source input. So um, we're going to use the video capture device and I'm going to use two. So um, I'm going to use my webcam and I'm going to use uh, an external video camera. Actually, I'm just going to use an external video camera view and create multiple views from it. So the first thing is we want to create a video capture device. Um, this is me here. Uh, I'm not going to use the Logitech Brio. I'm going to use the video USB video device, which is our camera. That's our, there's our dog. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, two scenes of this. So I'm going to select all of the defaults. You can obviously set the um, resolution and the frames per second in the video format, but I'm just going to accept the defaults. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crop um, the image down. So I'm going to take, first of all, the image and crop it, crop the left. So imagine you've got two people sat in front of you. We're going to crop that image down. And then we can also, we're actually going to move it so it can take all the furthest left hand part so there we go, that's that. And then we're going to take in the left hand side a bit more. So we're just going to basically fill the box like so. So that's the first uh, camera view done. Then we're going to create a second image device. I'm actually going to put that up there so the, these are in the background as you can see here the overlay, I can move that overlay and it's moving across over the top of the image now. So you want to have the image in the foreground and the videos in the background. So I'm going to create my second video capture source and I'm going to create it from the same video input. So uh, that's VLC, don't want that. I want the video capture device, video capture device 2 and I'm going to add an existing capture card so video capture device which is what we've already defined and there's our lovely dog again looking out of the window so we're going to take this over to the left hand side we're going to do the right hand side capture of this this time and that will allow you if you wanted to to transition between the scenes but it's a way of capturing only the parts that you want and again we want to make our image uh, over the top so when we show you we can move that around but that's that's it so what we've got there is we've actually got two views from the same camera source we've got the left window here so imagine you've got two people sat at a desk in front of you you can capture one person in one window and the other person in the other window um, and that's all there is to it so the next thing that you want to do is you want to get some audio in to your um, your video so there's a couple of different ways that you can do this so the first way is you can create um, an input source directly into your scene or you can go in and actually edit your settings come into your audio settings and then you can as you can see here device not connected or not available um, so you can come in and select whatever you want to use so if I wanted to use um, the microphone that I'm using at the moment which is the blue snowball I can select that here or I can actually use the audio from um, my Logitech Brio webcam or I can use the audio device from the video camera so if I use the audio device from the video camera the video camera is quite a long way away uh, so you're not going to hear it properly so what I'm going to do I'm going to select the blue snowball audio device I'm going to apply that um, and as you can see here, it's now bringing that audio from the audio device into the uh, into the stream. Once you're ready and you want to transition, you can just obviously fade it across. There we go. So that's faded in. So this would be what you were broadcasting. 
you can then go through and create a second scene of I don't know whatever you want to put in here so let's put in here um, I don't know uh, let's put in here a uh, a display capture so let's capture the screen as you can see here you get the tunnel effect but um, it works in terms of being able to transition between screens so um, all I want to do is I'm going to cut between the different scenes here and as you can see you're dropping backwards and forwards so you could effectively share your screen um, to your presentation or your broadcast so that's all there is to it really uh, a really useful but simple effect where you can capture uh, multiple inputs and have it in a nice overlay uh, you can design whatever you want in here um, you know this is just a basic uh, frame for you um, and showed you how to do that so if you like the video give it a thumbs up um, and it'd be great if you could subscribe to our channel if you've got any comments just leave them in the description below and we'll get those answered for you apart from that thanks for watching